Suppose it is beyond us to produce a dual system of astronomy. The stars can be near or distant according as we need them. Do you suppose our mathematicians are unequal to that? Have you forgotten? Double think, double, double. Thanks very much for your time, man. Uh, just from a brief encounter there, I sense you, you don't believe or trust the mainstream media and the government, what no, they're telling us. Never have. Um, Stop watching news and mainstream um, county media a long time ago. I sussed it out many years ago. Um, and then, obviously, we had uh, the pandemic, as some of us say, and this is when a lot of lights came switched on and a lot of people started looking at this kind of stuff and you have a lot of time on your hands to dig deep into things and then you can see things for what it is and there's loads, loads of media on like kind of social media channels like your, your obscure ones, brand new tube rumble that's actually getting a lot of informative information people doing good documentaries like going in depth and showing you the facts showing you the screenshots the information's out there yeah. tell and us everything yeah. they're going to do but people yeah and at the very least showing you a telling you a different narrative to yeah. one you've not been told mm-hmm. about and i ask a lot of people have you heard of bit shoot uh, rumble yeah. brand new tube telegram mm-hmm. and a lot of people say no yeah they've not heard of it so so daniel mm-hmm. what, what, do, what do you think it is the difference between you uh uh questioning things and thinking for yourself and other people not even going down that route. What's the difference, do you think? I think it's I think it's down to how you're programmed in your own brain, uh, uh, how you program yourself, how you've been programmed over the years. And if you're a critical thinker and you ask questions, I've always been the one, I was at school, when we were yeah. told the sky's blue because why is, but why is that? Where is this? And I was told, don't ask the questions. And uh, my mum's the same, my mum's spiritual. Oh. She kind of, she, she's, she's awake and, yeah, it's just all. I've always had a feeling inside, but some people I think they're so programmed and tuned into this mainstream narrative that they just they deny the feeling inside because yeah. they just yeah. they've got the chains of the mortgage, yeah. the family, this that. I've got time on my hands, so I can research yeah. things. And but would you say it's even a form of brainwashing? This social is. conditioning. Yeah, I think it is brainwashing, um, total brainwashing because. These people, they sit and they, they've watched these movies and these programmes and this news, these news streams for years and it brainwashes them into a certain yeah. way of thinking and they think that they have to act along yeah. these lines, they think they have to have the family or then you go down the next yeah. road when it's all the kind of gender stuff, yeah. they're being roped into believing this because yeah. it's been indoctrinated into the schools and Absolutely. the universities. Absolutely. And I asked a question to academics, yeah. uh, I said, where's the boundary between education and indoctrination? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you not think you've been taught some untruths? Yeah. Do you think it's all true? Yeah. Yes, yes, the same. Mm-hmm. But uh, wouldn't you agree there's different layers of the onion depending where you're Definitely. at? Definitely. Right. Definitely. Well, it goes deep. It, exactly. It goes very deep. And you look right to the top where you're looking at BlackRock, yes. Vanguard. Yeah. Buying, buying everything up. They, BlackRock's they, they buying. They owe everything. They're buying all the properties yeah. up. Yeah. so that you won't be able to yeah. rent they, they at, at a reasonable price. It's, it's comes, it's, this is it's Illuminati thing if yeah. you want to yeah. say it like that. Yeah. But there is a chain and I believe a lot on this earth is 
satanic kind of. As oh, well. absolutely, I a lot absolutely. Of that stuff. All this pop culture, uh, all uh, everything. Psychopaths and paedophiles yeah. run the, yeah. run this place. Yeah. Hey, I, I won't I won't go into it, but I'll just mention where I think the near the ceiling is mm. of where I am with the yeah. lies. Just see yeah. if you're uh-huh. open to it or uh, not. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about critical thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, what shape do you think the Earth is? I don't think it's round. Don't think it's a planet. I don't believe in space. I know we've never been to space. Hallelujah! This is how, I feel. This is how I feel when the, the search I've, yeah. I've put in myself and found things out that yeah. it, it's lies. People say to me sometimes, Dan, stop it. You think everybody's out to get you, but in the, not not necessarily to get you, but but they're out to lie they're to, out you. to lie to you and control and you. And control you. So basically, you can't believe anything that yeah. you're told. Absolutely, that's what it is. Yeah. It's about yeah. control. Unless you can verify it for yourself. Yeah. Now you and I have never been to space. No. So you can tell us whatever's up there. Mm-hmm. But uh, I I strongly think that space doesn't even exist. Yeah. Nobody's been to space. Yeah. That's an illusion. We're trapped in this mm-hmm. village mm-hmm. where there's far farther land yeah. has been kept from us. Yeah. I think that the landmass that we are told as well isn't well, where yeah. it is and where we're told it is. Absolutely. Isn't it? There's probably, you talk uh-huh. about the Antarctic stuff with Antarctic and stuff. Yeah. I believe that there is something underneath. I go far, I go quite far and deep because it's the dots, the dot connecting, mm-hmm. and yeah. you put these dots together. And, and when, once you suppose probably the second biggest lie of mm-hmm. all, which is the shape of the earth, yeah. then. Then everything else everything falls, else doesn't it? Just, All the cars just yeah. tumble and you think, yeah. my God, mm-hmm. we lied about everything. Totally, totally. If, then you look at the heliocentric model and how that's been put into play by the the, the religious and the, what they've made us think in the books. How do we know yeah. what went on 100 yeah. years ago? Well, 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 there's a lot of book burning 100 yeah. years ago. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, through my own research, uh, I've seen that it used to teach that the earth was flat mm-hmm. in many schools, yeah. especially in America, yeah. before yeah, World War II. I've seen that in loads yeah. of places as well, and I've seen like a, was a Croatian lady, she was like 90 odds, and somebody yes. and asked her, she was told, she said, We were told the earth is flat. That's right, yeah. And it's yeah. the earth, God made the earth. If you read the Bible, I mean, I started reading the Bible, I've always had that around, but I started reading this Bible just a few years ago because I wanted to read these passages that I was coming across in. And when you do read Genesis, it, it tells you what who created this place. We're not just a spinning ball in this evolution yeah. that we're told. That's a lie. Yeah, this is what I believe it's a lie. Right. It goes deeper than that. We are, we are created for a reason in this place. Yeah, but yeah. I believe I, that we're being controlled by a dark, some kind of darkness yeah, yeah. that's taken over yeah. the goodness and poisoning people yeah. and brainwashing them. Absolutely, mate. You know, I'm not religious, but I'm with religious people where, yeah. where they say it was created. Yeah, yeah. it was obviously yeah. created and designed. Yeah. But other than that, I say I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know so I, I try unless, not to make claims. Unless I see it with my own eyes now, yeah. this is it. If yeah. I see it with my own eyes, I'll uh, believe it. But absolutely. unless I see it and physically yeah. it, experience but, it for myself, then I'll be sceptical. Because you've got to trust your senses. We're, we're, yeah. we're socially conditioned not to trust the senses mm-hmm. and trust authority. Yeah. Like you were saying mm-hmm. at school, I, I remember you, but, but miss, how do, how does... How does it upside down people and how, how does water yeah. stick to the bottle? Right. Shut up, gravity. Yeah. Okay then. Right. So that was the beginning mm-hmm. of destroying my own yeah. independent critical mm-hmm. thinking, mm-hmm. you know. So I had to conform, yeah. be obedient, believe yeah. believe in authority. Mm-hmm. But th- that's just total uh, social control and totally. brainwashing. Totally. I believe that, I mean, I've got grandkids now and my, my grandson, he's eight, he's, ni- he's eight, nine. Um, and my daughter's really switched on to the same kind of thinking as myself. Oh, good but man. My little grandson, he's at school now, and if, if I could homeschool him and teach him at home, I would, but I've not got the, the capacity to do that yeah. with my work and stuff. But what, I'm, what my point is, is I think that the stuff that they're learning in these schools from a young age is bad, and it is indoctrination, and it's stuff coming down for the government that, like, it's how to be, how to be around people, it's just... And they're showing them news streams in the school. They're, they're there to be educated, they're not there to see mm-hmm. the news. And I've had the conversations with the teachers. Well, and they, that'd I've be told interesting. They opt out because I've told Ellis, Ellis knows my grandson, he knows that I've told him it's just an act. It's not, when you're seeing this news, it's not real. Do you know what I mean? It's not. Yeah. He'll but, figure it out for himself as he gets a wee bit older and I guide him a wee bit with stuff. But, I think it's always good to encourage children to to question what they're being told well, unless they can actually experience it themselves. Yeah. Not necessarily deny it, but, mm. but just to question the validity of it if I'm expected to believe it. Mm. And, and if they can't validate it for themselves, like, you know, water is de- demonstrably flat level. Uh, well, that's it always falls yeah. and finds its own mm. level. Now, we can demonstrably uh, observe that yeah. and demonstrate it. Yeah. 
but when teachers tell us certain things in yeah. class that you can't yeah. well then you shouldn't totally believe it you can put it on the shelf for later investigation but the teacher doesn't know that you can't because the teacher's yeah, only telling you what they've yeah. what they've remembered to tell you they don't yeah. actually know what they're teaching you they just take it from the books and yeah. they didn't actually critically think that and then wonder why they're just telling yeah like, good good, good obedient teachers just passing on the propaganda yeah, to totally. good obedient little yeah. pupils yeah who don't know any better because yeah. they're oh, that's their critical thinking hasn't developed mm -hmm. yet well, get, get them early yeah they say up to the age eight it's the most critical time for a, a uh -huh. child uh -huh. like for when they're obviously kind of conscious to like up to the age eight that's when they're kind of just, like sponge. just bang on when they're going to school aye uh. definitely and what's the first and thing they see in the teacher's desk globe well and they shouldn't I don't believe that a young person like that a young child can sit at a school desk and, and be expected yes. to sit at a school yeah. desk with a guy or a lady yeah. that's uh, maybe yeah. older than their mum and dad yeah. and take note of and Good then point. when the kids are having acting up a wee Good bit point. they're told they've got ADHD they've got Go this, on medication they've got they're telling them to fidget fidget we used to chew yeah. a pencil or have a wee lack with each other oh. but they can't do that I used to get a belt for things like that well there you but, go so, so, so they take a belt away and, and it's, oh, the teacher can't control them yeah. right you obviously got something wrong with you are going to have to medicate this you this is that this is it because yeah. everything's a label now because if you yeah. if you they say individuality everybody's but they didn't promote individuality they want everybody to be the same Co they want conformity. everybody but this conformity uh, that's why Daniel that's why yeah that's why schools have uniforms because it's it. uniformity yeah, yeah. To and conform. it's an institution we, we shouldn't should be institutionalised yeah, uh, do you know what I mean we're spiritual oh, human beings we're, 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 we're right on the same page yeah, here man yeah. I wish my, my colleague Ross was here he would he'd uh, aye, he's the same <laughs> oh, oh, we brilliant. could talk about the stuff for ages he'd be asking you right now how you feel about the planes in the sky and these kind of chemtrails have yeah. you looked yeah I mean, yeah I've, I've, I've looked right into that years yeah, ago yeah. 20 Geo years ago yeah. 20 years ago mm -hmm. I was uh, yeah, geoengineering, mm -hmm. absolutely, and they're, they're they're putting toxins in the water and the yeah. earth from it. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you know this, but they're they're blocking out the sun. Ah, that's right. Because this, this, the sun uh, it's got vitamin D, yeah. which which yeah. boosts your immune, immune system. system. And if you get lack, it's no it's no coincidence we mm -hmm. we get ill in the winter because yeah. they're lacking yeah. sunlight. Now in the summer, you come out in a summer's day. Oh, isn't that great? Aye. And by eleven o'clock, it's gone. They start spraying. Aye. Aye. And the four clouds. Every morning. I'm a roofer. I'm oh, standing right. on these roofs every morning right. and we're looking in there. One this way, one yeah, that way. Crisscross and patterns. Everywhere. And yeah. by the time dinner time comes, the sky's milked. It's yeah, like this yeah. milked out. If, if, if you watch a great documentary called uh, What in the World of the Spring, right. where, where it's dedicated to chemtrails right. and they're, take, they're taking soil samples mm -hmm. and water samples after right, the spring, right. a thousand times over the, the safe level of toxicity. Ah, nuts. Percent. That, it's like it's just common sense that all this traffic up in there is going to be polluting, but when you know that they're doing it on purpose as well, yeah. and there's stuff in this stream that's coming yeah. out, like particles, uh, yeah. aluminium to reflect uh, the sun back. Yes, absolutely. And and I think I think all those metals they're putting in the air uh, reflect with 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 uh, the the the, yeah, the, the uh, I've forgotten what it is. Uh, or something oxide in, in your body, right. uh, graphene oxide. Right, right. I think that's an electronic conductor, mm. and it'll conduct with 5G towers yeah. and mm -hmm. the metal particles yeah. that are falling totally. from the air. Totally. So, so they can connect with your own new right. even your, th your your own thinking mm. can well, influence your yeah. thinking. Well, there's another one we're talking about these uh, UFOs and stuff. We're looking at like this false there, uh, Project Bluebeam. I don't know if you're yeah, aware of that yeah. fake, fake alien yeah. invasion. I, I, I mean, this is coming close, I think, because yeah. the stuff that they're doing right now. Yeah, I think it's advanced craft, but they come from over there, uh, not up nah, there. They don't come from up there. No. I feel that they come from somewhere, maybe yeah. Antarctica. Uh, or advanced technology. Advanced yeah, technology, yeah, yeah, but yeah. no for no for space. Yeah. That's for no, sure. They're no. no aliens. As Crowley says, they're now these. They're now like grey matter. Yeah, yeah. That they're saying that are aliens now. That's the no the grey matter there. Demons. I mean, I think they're saying a lot of things like that just just to keep us in fear. Yeah. Fear is how they control us, yeah. and they can put up. You know, these drones they've got. The Chinese use about two hundred drones mm. to to spell out words in the sky and that. Right. 
They can project anything up uh, there and say, oh, look, the aliens yeah, are coming. Yeah. Trusting your government yeah. government will protect yeah. you. Sort of thing. But there is the talk on with the Project Bluebeam that there's going to be some kind of signal sent into your brain so yeah. that you're uh, just mind-controlled. So you're not going to have yeah. any choice, but yeah. I think... But half of them are mind-controlled well, already. that's the thing. If you're already switched on to that fact and as soon yeah. as you see something yeah. in the sky and you go, that's false, then surely yeah. the mind control of them wouldn't have worked. But yeah. if it yeah. did, then they're all... Yeah. So obviously... Just, Obviously, you're not taking any poisons. No, 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 no. I'm poison free. My son, you want to give me a handshake there till you know I was in the jab? No. of the planet.